everyone, my name is Jessica and I knew it. <laughs> the minute I start talking, Lily. Don't rip a hole in my pants. Thank you for joining me again. My name is Jessica, if you're new, and I'm a reseller and photographer. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some items that I picked up at Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati. I went out to photograph a property, so I took my boyfriend along and we just enjoyed Cincinnati and we stopped by Jungle Gyms. And these are a few items that I picked up. I got the Juicy Melt Supreme Hot Sauce in Ruby Wizard. It's a grapefruit habanero. And it's really, really, really hot. Even though it says it's four out of five hotness. So that's good. I also got Slap Your Mama Cajun Seasoning. To go with the Cajun theme, I got Cafe Du Monde coffee. It was really good. And some chocolate by Noah's. I just picked it because it was the last one. But it's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and it says I taste very good. And it does. <laughs> So this video is going to be about items that sell for $50 and over. I have my little notebook here. It was a little bit difficult to put everything together because it's not easy to find out in one spot. So let's see. Fitty. Okay, the first item is this Reformation dress it's the Susanna Bryce Cherry Blossom Dress. I picked it up at Nordstrom Rack when they had that crazy sale. A lot of the dresses were half off or more. That one sold for $80. Say, <laughs> um, and since it was retail arbitrage, I only profited $26.89. I'm really making a point going forward to source more places than Goodwill. So I'm doing retail arbitrage more and going to the bins more. And if you don't know what the bins are, it's the Goodwill outlet. And basically there's donations, but um, it's also overstock from Goodwill and you pay by the pound. So things come out to be like a dollar each. So, on that topic, I was really lucky. I was with Hope. She's Rex to Riches on YouTube. And I found a St. John jacket when I was with her. And I also found a like, sweater vest, but it hasn't sold yet. That one sold for $112. And since I only paid a dollar for it, I profited $81.49. That was exciting. I also found on that trip some Doc Martens, some Oxfords, and those sold for $60. So I profited $47. Next we have, I think this was in a What Sold video before. It was a Free People Alpaca Cloud Sweater. I found that at the bins. I, I thought in my head like, look for texture and color and pattern in the bins because it gets overwhelming. So once I said texture, I found the sweater and uh, sold for $70. So I profited 55. I also sold these boots by Naturalizer. They were a wide calf um, knee high boot and those sold for $80. So I profited $59.80. Next up, we have an abalone bracelet. It was 
part of a lot that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a 70s collection that um, this guy's grandmother collected over the course of her life. He said that she went out west a lot and he didn't know what to do with everything, so I bought it. I wonder if I'm... I'm wearing one ring that I picked up from that collection. This goes with a pendant and a bracelet. Anyway, that one sold for $60 and I profited $28. Those came out to be about $20 for each piece of jewelry that I picked up. Next, we have an Athleta Northern Lights sweater. Um, I ended up wearing this one once until it sold. <laughs> it was really nice. It has a zipper detail on the bottom and it sold for $50, so I profited $35.50 after Poshmark fees. Next up is this J. Crew Velvet Wrap dress. It sold for $70. It was this really expensive looking blue, like royal blue velvet dress. Um, it sold for $70 and I profited $51.50. This one I wasn't sure about. I had never sold Beta Brand before and I wasn't sure about the style, but I had heard about Beta Brand and I ended up selling this for $60 and I profited $43.37. This one I think was given to me by a friend and then I gave her some of the profit. It was a Coach Penelope hobo bag. I sold it for $54 and the profit on that was $38.08. Next was another velvet item. It's a Talbot's new with tag velvet blazer. For whatever reason, I don't know the what it sold for, but um, over 50 <laughs> and I profited 33. Next is this Texas cowboy boot. I think the label is just Texas. I picked these up on a trip with my mom. We went to Indiana Dunes and we stopped at the Goodwill there and I found a lot of good shoes that time. Um, these sold for 50, so I profited 30. Next is a J. Crew Campbell blazer. This sold for $56 and I profited $37.80. Then was another pair of shoes that I got from Indiana Dunes. My mom wanted these, but they weren't her size. <laughs> um, they were the Ugg Corsette slides. They were uh, like a gray fuzzy slide. They sold for $60 and I profited $34. Next was a Mara Hoffman swim. I found this with a lot of really good designer clothes at Goodwill. It's a black jumpsuit and it was linen and it had like a tie front detail. Um, that one sold for $70 and I profited $50. Next is a Ralph Lauren tote. It was about probably that big. It was a good size bag. Um, it was brown and it sold for $65 and I profited $47. Next is a coat that I found on Half Off Day a long time ago, which they're not having those anymore because of COVID, which is sad, but it was an ideology faux fur black coat and it sold for $60, so I profited $44. I only spent, I think, $3 on that item, and I saw it at the checkout line, so I got lucky on that one. Next is an item I always pick up. I always pick up equestrian clothing. This one was by the Tailored Sportsman, and it sold for $60, so I profited $41. This was a vintage Gucci belt. Um, it just came out on a new rack at Goodwill and it was one dollar. <laughs> when I took it off the rack my hands were like shaking. <laughs> um, I believe it was from the 80s. It was but it was that classic double G. Is it a double G or it's a G with an upside down G. Flipped G. Mirrored G belt. 
it sold for 130 and I profit at 103. Next piece is vintage. It's by Dream Sex. It's a silk robe and like this really pretty like gold cream color. And it sold for $60, so I profited 42. I have another, I think it's a black dream dream sex robe, but it's missing the tie, so I haven't listed it yet. This is another equestrian clothing item. It's by Sarm Hippeak. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's a uh, the riding breeches. I sold it for $50 and profited $33. Next was a Coach Zoe Gray signature bag. I sold it for $50 and profited $40. Then I have the Sea Folly by Anthropology swimsuit. It, it's a vintage inspired swimsuit and it had a really cool um, umbrella pattern. That one sold for $50 and I profited 33. I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> okay, on Etsy, I just sold these Italian filigree picture frames with a floral print inside. I found two at Goodwill and two at an estate sale. So I sold those for 129.60 on Etsy and I Profited $87.31. I think I paid $5 a piece at Goodwill and then at the estate sale I like battled with myself because they were $10 each. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get these because they go with the other ones and it worked. This next item was something I had in my previous video. It was a Maitland Smith card holder with a dog holding a ball. I sold it for $132.26 and I profited $122.14. It's so cute. This next item was a single teeth cup, which was surprising. It was by Royal Albert. It was the Love Story series. And I sent that to France. It sold for $57. And I think that was plus shipping, so I profited $55. Okay, these are on eBay, which I can only see the last 90 days of sales, which was kind of frustrating. But I looked through my um, retail app to find some more sales. I just had to dig a little bit. Um, I found these coral frame leggings. They were kind of like a liquid leather legging. And it sold for $60. So I profited $51.88, K-O-R-A-L, just in case you find it. Next up are these slippers, which I almost didn't pick up because they were in kind of not great condition. Um, they were by Birdies. They're a leopard print Sherpa lined slipper. These I brought home and I soaked them in a little Tupperware thing with hot water and the white OxyClean. And that seemed to really clean them up. So they ended up selling for $75 plus shipping. So I profited $71.36. This next item was by a designer that I hadn't ever heard of. It was by Nicholas K. And it was the asymmetrical jacket. I sold that for $55. And these jackets go for a lot. Like... Just, I would check out their website if, you, if you're interested, but I sold it for $55 plus shipping, so I profited $52.55. These pants I found on a new rack at Goodwill, they're Alexander Wang. They're kind of a, a athleisure black pant. These sold for $175 plus shipping, and I profited $173. This next item was from an estate sale. I picked up a bunch of external hard drives. The person must have been a photographer, so I figured I, I needed it for myself or I could sell it. This one <clears throat> was returned back to me because it, they said that it was overheating. So I went ahead, I sold it the first time for 200. It was a 
WB cloud storage, but it was a two terabyte external hard drive. They said it overheated, so they sent it back. And then the second time I ended up selling it off for parts and they ended up buying it for $88.75. So I profited $53.62. The next item is this Athleta Leopard Legging. It was a high waist. They sold for $50 plus shipping and I profited $47.41. Here's a theme in this now because here's another equestrian item. This was a jacket by Grand Prix. It sold for $50 plus shipping and I profited $45. This next item was a it was a plate with some bowls by Bella Casa. It sold for $63.81 plus shipping. So I profited $37. This next item was from an estate sale. I found this Patricia Nash pink tooled leather bag and it sold for $175 and I profited $160. I ended up getting two bags. I, got, I also got a fry bag that I've been using. I don't think that I'm gonna sell it though. I really like it. Next is a men's item. It's by Zegna Sport. It was a just a plain blue sweater. I sold it for $50.45 and I profited $41.62. These next items were vintage. They were tennis glasses and they had like these jokes on the bottom, tennis jokes. <laughs> I sold them for $52.25 and profited $31.54. And one thing to note on the eBay profit is I pay about $100 a month in fees at the end of the month. So that comes out of everything too. This one sold on TradeZ. It was uh, by Chaser. And it was a graphic tee. It said Easy Tiger on it. That one sold for $50 and I profited $37.56. Next is an item I just sold. It's a Chico's Red Cashmere sweater. That one sold for $55.45 and I profited $46.62. So that is everything. Everything's kind of random, but that's really how my eye works. I just, I look for something that is unique and interesting and also high quality. So I hope that helps. I hope that in your search, you can find some similar items that maybe you wouldn't normally think of and turn a $50 or more profit. So thank you for tuning in with me and I will see you next week.